everybody. How you doing? Good morning, good afternoon. Uh, happy Saturday. Um, how was your week? Now, some of you had a great week. Some of us didn't. I'm going to try not to be all self-absorbed about the whole stupid thing because, you know, whew, I got to go to Long Island and see. Oh, my God, you guys. Do you want to see something really cool? I'm going to put it on my page uh, for everybody to read. This, this guy right here is Captain Joe, my brother. These are, he lost nine men in 9-11. And um, he's so cute. I let him get away with all of his Trumpy crap. <laughs> I don't care. I don't know what he's seasoning, but you know. He's still, I'd still open a vein for that guy. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to see them. Uh, we have a lot going on in May. We're planning a trip for my girlfriend from Washington, D.C. She's going to come down and we're going to get a, uh, see, she has... A big white floofer Samoyan. Oh my God, this stock is so perfect. It is the. Where, where's my phone? I gotta get my phone. Hold on, I got coffee. It's doing nothing. I need to, I need battery acid. I need like electric shock treatment. I gotta wake up. Mm. I could sleep for the next three days, I swear to God. My brain is so curmudgeoned. Anyway. <clears throat> okay, I was getting a photo to show you my girlfriend's dog. And, oh, my God. Um... Hang on, let me get her for you. Ay, ay, ay. I wish I, you know what? Here's the deal. When you stop using the facey space, which I call the social mental ward, you just forget everything. Um, let me try dogs. Oh, her Samoyan. Uh, he has a Great Pyrenees, and she has a Samoyan. It's not here. Oh, God. Man. Okay, hold on. I got it, I got it, I got it. Don't panic, people. Don't panic. I'm not showing her name or her dress or her shoe size or anything like that. But this dog, look, look. Wait, like that, look. Is that a dog or what? That is her dog. And Buddy has... A dog, too. And Buddy, how do I... Why do you people have to change things um, on Basie Space? We're all quite sick of it, you know. Um... There's a picture that he's got everything with the dog. Oh, my God. Look at all this crap. <laughs> but he's been playing around. Anyway, uh, Buddy has a great Pyrenees whose name is Phoenix. 
this dog. Oh my God, he's so huge. Why can't I? How much crap are you going to put on here without putting a picture of your dog? Okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll just have to use this one. Look, look, he's polar bear. He's polar bear. See, they're all I know, but we are <laughs> trying to find a place before the end of May. So we can have a, uh, he's a grill master, like a master, like bow before the master. <gasps> I'm not kidding. He's got trophies and all kinds of stuff and oh, he can cook and grill everything. I grill and 911 comes every <laughs> When I grilled in Texas. Okay, we got a grill. We did kind of a, a little spruce up in our backyard. You know, we had the hot tub back there. And we had a pergola. And I decided that I was going to grill. Because long-suffering... <laughs> You know, he can fly around the world. He can build you an airplane if he has a paper clip. He could, he could, <laughs> what he has to say about Boeing right now would literally, you'd go bald. You'd, you'd lose your mind. Anyway, uh, are there any more white dangly things? I don't think so. But I know she's supposed to be here anyway uh so buddy has phoenix who is a big male bigger than george george is like joe pesci next to him i mean tiny and uh so we gotta find a uh, an Airbnb so they can come down to the beach because I don't think they'd all fit here. <laughs> I mean, I think they could, of course, and they're always welcome, but my God, what am I going to do this dog? You know, I mean, they won't have room to play and run and, you know, goof around. And we don't, we still do not know. If they're going to get along, you know, because great Pyrenees have a way of kind of knowing who they are. And they kind of like, like we have a great Pyrenees who is a neighbor and George walks by. They don't fight. They don't growl. They're just like, hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing? All good. All good. But... Two great Pyrenees. Neither one are fixed. Oh, no. I don't know how to, you know. But th really, there is an easy way. I mean, all you have to do to stop a dog fight and, and put this in your notepad with by a whistle. You guys should all have a whistle. I sent out 30 of these. Now, don't tell me you don't have a whistle. Tie it to your purse. Uh, make it a charm on your phone. Do something. But you have to have a whistle because it is tornado season. And once somebody comes to try to rescue you, you have to, uh, 48. Ooh, my eyes are getting bad. Ay, 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 Um, this is what's taking so long. All this dicking around. But look, we have a face. We're getting there. We have her back. All of this is done. I just have this little, I got to do the masky dude. By then I should run out of every color I have. Anyway, uh, 
when two male dogs are not fixed, sometimes it can be a problem. I don't know. But we're going to try to find a place. So then I got to go to New York and see my sister. My long island sister. I can't wait to you guys see her. She's so beautiful. You know, I mean, she's older than me. But I look older than her. I really do. I don't know how she is like, I don't know. She's got that, I never get old Jean. She's got that Kevin Bacon magic thing going on. Where no matter how old he gets, he still looks like a footloose kind of guy. I mean, really? Did you guys see him the other day on the news? They're um, taking down the school that they used when they did the movie Footloose and he showed up. Oh man, people were fanning out. I got to do a movie with Kevin Bacon. I know, I was an extra. Calm down. It wasn't anything special for me. But it did get special because I had just come back from Africa. So I had a very heavy African tone to my voice and it was English African you know it was and then there was Irish in there so it was like I was a verbal mess you could not ask me for a glass of water because nobody understood water I worked very very hard to get rid of it and and to get Americanized but anyway we did a movie, and in the movie, it's a HBO movie. Uh, it's still available. but it's old. It's been around a while, because I did it when I lived in Connecticut in Sandy Hook. Um, but it's called uh, Taking Chance, and I didn't know Kevin Bacon was in it. Until we got on the set. <gasps> Girl, I lost my mm, mm, mm. everything. Everything went to crap. <laughs> I was like, okay, stay cool. Well, he was dressed in formal dress clothes as a Marine, as a Marine sergeant. Uh, from Dover, Delaware, where they bring home soldiers who are killed in action. Now, this was a pertinent story because the young boy, whose name, his last name was Chance. I can't remember his first name. I'm lucky I remember that name. Anyway, uh, Chance was one of the first to die in Afghanistan, and he was only 21. And people in this little town in Wyoming, they all know and love each other, you know? And uh, they're just, they're very family-oriented, you know? Anyway, um, they didn't, they were going to shoot in the high school in Wyoming, but it was in July. And I was like, I'm not going anywhere in July except to the refrigerator, and I'm going to stand there every minute of the day. So, Taking Chance decided we'll do this school in New Jersey. <laughs> we get on the bus... Like, we're being kidnapped. I mean, really. I felt like there's some human trafficking about to happen here. <laughs> they would not tell us where we were going. And there was nothing written on the bus. It was um, private charter. That's all it said. Huh. Huh. What is private charter? 
you know? Anyway, we get on the bus and we get there and Kevin Bacon is getting his uh, uniform, uh, you know, tucked and lint freed and everything by a real Marine. And so I just saw the real Marine. I didn't see it was Kevin. And then he turned around and I walked right into him and I went, oh, pardon me. I'm so sorry. Are you? I'm. Um, oh. Uh, he's like, that's okay. That's okay. Where are you from? I said, well, you know, I I lived in Africa for nine years, but I live here now, and uh, I am an American. And he thought, good. Well, listen, little American girl from Africa. Uh, this is the director, and he's going to tell you what to do. And, I mean, he was not ugly to me or anything. And then lunch came after doing this scene, the funeral scene, by the way. If you ever watch it, you'll see me in it. I was really fat. I was no competition for nobody. And it was July. Oh, my God. I had to stand like six feet away from Kevin Bacon for nine hours. I was like, now I have a connection to Kevin Bacon. Oh, I understand it all now. Because it was like a big thing. Hold on. I have got to find that corner and I can't. Because... Is that it? I guess that's it. 41. Anyway, um, so it was, we had to all look very, very sad. We were at gymnasium because this, this sweet boy who, uh, who died, you know, they didn't have a church big enough in this little town in Wyoming. So they did it at the school gymnasium. And I'm telling you, everybody in the town, this is the real life. Everybody in the town showed up. So we were in a gymnasium and, and lunch came around and I was like, they gave us, this is back when SAG could just do whatever they wanted. SAG did not care about you, your survival tactics, your allergies. Here, eat this and don't die. And if you do, don't call us. We're not, we're not paying out. And I mean, it was awful. They handed me this brown bag and it was like a prison lunch. <laughs> uh, I'm not kidding you guys. It was so gross. And I was like, well, uh, you know, I went to culinary school, okay? I know garbage when I see it. They pick that shit out of a dumpster. I'm telling you, they gave us dumpster food. I know they did. Homeless people were eating better than us that day. Okay. So I took a look at it, and... uh. Kevin's co-star was the nicest, funniest guy, and we were just joking off because we were trying to keep the the uh, the fire going, you know, because it's a funeral, but you don't want, like, dead, you know, actors at a funeral. You still want emotion and everything, and I was a good crier. I cried because I thought about the real the real chance. You know, I thought about him and I it was just easy for me. I bawled like a baby. I mean, the cameras were cutting away. Oh my god, look at this one. She's back there. She thinks she was dating him. I was like, I know, it was only 21 though. Anyway, uh 
And so I looked at the back, and I was there with a friend. Um, and she took her sandwich out of the ba the brown paper bag. It was like. Not even bologna, not spam. It was something that the FDA would never approve of. Okay, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not a food snob, but come on. We're here all day in the heat. You put us on a bus to nowhere. How am I going to get the hell out of here? I couldn't ditch and go back to Connecticut because... I didn't even know where I was in New Jersey. And then I told my husband, I said, guess where I've been all day? And he was like, where? I said, New Jersey. And and he said, oh, you should have said hi to mom and dad. I was like, shut up. Just shut up. I want to talk to you. And I want a filet mignon now. Anyway. But uh, the food was repulsive to a place that you open the bag. I don't even think the bags were made that day. They, they, you know how a lunch bag smells when it's been sitting around for like a week? Yeah. So uh, I was standing, you know, maybe two feet away from uh, Kevin's co-star. And I said, well, bleeding Christ, I can't eat this. What is this? Has someone lost a house cat? Should we do an investigation? I mean, really, could someone call? Do you have professional help here? Because, I mean, I've got an EMS bag in the car because people are going to die after eating this. He laughed so hard. He thought it was the funniest thing he heard all day. He was like, uh, come here, you, comedian. And I was like, yes. And he brought me into the tent where there was a craft cart for um, the actual actors who had speaking parts. And, oh, God, they had gyros and salads and fruit that was not... You know, it was like fresh off the vine. It was it was like, oh, so this is where you eat. And he said, I'm going to make you my plus one today. You come eat with me. And so I got to sit with Kevin Bacon on one side. And, oh, God, what was his name? Oh, kills me. I can't remember his name. If I saw it, I could tell you. Um, because he's been in a lot of movies and you would know him and he's so sweet. And so I had to sit next to them and, uh, I had, I had Kevin on one side and him on the other and we had a proper lunch. Oh, how posh. Oh, it was so posh. It was a posh lunch. Anyway, uh, the movie, um, you see me in it for like two seconds. Uh, Taking Chance is a beautiful movie about what happens and all the preparation that goes into uh, all the honor, everything that happens to this Marine who... He thinks he's just transferring another body. He's kind of a little burnt out. You know what I mean? But when he sees all the people in the airport saluting and watching them, watching him load and unload on the plane, and the flight attendant takes her crucifix off and says, Please skip this. This was my father's. I still can't say it without crying. This is my father's, but you give it to the family. And, um, you know, he's trying to be professional through the whole thing. 
and he and he remembers he starts to remember who he is as a soldier it is uh not a humor movie you will need chocolate possibly xanax and definitely a cocktail <laughs> I would have one of each. I'm not kidding. It was so, it, it you know, because we didn't know what we were doing. You know, you only get to see, here's what happens when people do movies. They never see what they're doing. And actors, he said to me, I was like, oh, God, if I get anything on Kevin Bacon's uniform, and he had a towel wrapped around him because he had, you know, the starchy white shirt. And, oh, my God, he looks so good in a uniform. Girls, you think he looks good on a dance floor? Go watch the movie just to see him in a uniform. Woofty, I'm telling you. And he was so kind to everybody. Nobody was... Uh, a diva, nobody acted like they were, you know, D-bags or anything. It was a very emotional story, and we were all there in our own way. You know, because we had our kids coming home from Iraq dead every day. This is the beginning of the Iraqi war. I think it was when we made the movie, I think it was like... 2009 or 2010 I don't know I was just an extra like I said and it was fun and I got paid 100 bucks and I got to be Kevin Bacon and then we did another movie and this movie never came out which kind of bugs me um the production company screwed up something and it never released and Hump Hanks was in it and he was buying everybody's sausage sandwiches but um which was really fun anyway uh yeah I couldn't believe I got to stand right next to Kevin Bacon and you know what he said to me I said, oh, I feel like I don't belong here. And I really, I'm, I'm so enjoying this lunch. It would take a whole squad of security men to get me away from this table right now. And he looked at me and he said, Joanna? Let me, Joanna, is it Joanna or Joanna? I want Joanna because nobody ever says my name right. Joanna. Listen to me. I want to say something to you. And I thought, oh, the holy grail of it all. I mean, he's going to talk to me about something. He's going to say something, you know, besides smile, look to the left. He said, all these people here, they're actors. And actors are just people who pretend to be other people. That's their job, because they're trying to tell you a story. This story is important, because this young man is... He was the first. He was the first one that we ever had to say goodbye to, and his family, and oh, they just, oh my God, they had the best cast. He said, so don't ever think if you see me on the street, or if you see anyone on the street, they're just people, you know? They walk and talk just like we do. And then his friend, the guy who played the co-star, oh, God, if I can only remember his name. And he laughed, and he goes, yeah, and they fart like they're supposed to. And some of them do it at lunch. And he looked over at Kevin, and, he, and Kevin was like, <laughs> don't listen to him. He's nothing but trouble. But he came to be my, I mean, ugh, I just loved him. I just loved him. It was a 
fun experience and a very difficult one. I don't think I could ever be an actor. I mean, I love to sing, but I don't sing on stage. I only sang on stage three times uh, for karaoke. And boy, was I blistered. Honey, <laughs> this girl <laughs> cannot hold no booze at all. At all. It's sad. It's a pitiful, pitiful thing. Anyway, so with all the craziness and the darkness going on in the world right now, I just thought I'd tell you that little memory story of mine. But for him to just say, you know, for me to look up and say, oh, good God, that can't be food. I mean, you better believe it. They're not treating people like that anymore. Now, now SAG has carts for everybody, even the extras. And, you know... The, having these extras is so important because we're the, we're the straw that stirs the drink, okay? We're the, we're the people that fill the room and make it an important event. There. That's all I have to say. Okay, so I am going to try to work on her. Look, I got her. I got her face. I got her face. Oh, this face. This beautiful face. Yeah. And I get to do all these line drawings. And I am so... Oh, God, I'm so excited to finally just pick up a pen and start raffling it please 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 help me finish it <laughs> encourage me say something say something good because and i'm not using these anymore because i got i got froggies saggy boob frogs that's right so uh the frogs are out, and I like them. You know, I do. I, I like them. I think they're even wider. Uh, let me try to get this done. You are important to me, so you be important to you, okay? I got to clean all this crap out from under my nail. I don't know. George got a bunch of mud on him. And his nails are shot. Okay. Um, I will see you in my next video. <laughs> George, come here and say hello. Oh, that's Moja Bear. Moja Bear Coco Fifi. Come and say hello to me. Um, Yeah. We're definitely gonna have to do a little a little modifying here and there because what are you gonna do when you run out of drills you run out nothing you can do <sighs> just don't worry about it don't worry about the mistakes because once it's up on the wall no one's gonna know nobody but us which is so cool okay um yeah so, look, um, stick together, people. Times like this, we need to hang on to each other like glue, okay? So, call me, leave a thumbs up, that would be lovely. I'm not telling you to, but if you would like to, please leave a thumbs up. I should be ever so grateful. I will, and I'm not above a bribe. <laughs> Love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye-bye.